see you guys there. Welcome to Webb's Greenworks. You know, on this episode, why don't I give you guys a virtual tour of what it's gonna look like here once we finish the build. Now, through the magic of magic, here you go. Whoa, that was wild. I love magic, guys. Let's keep it going. Let's take it into the map. All right, so in the very front of the building, you walk in the front door and you're gonna see our restaurant space. Bunch of seating up front, then a big nice horseshoe bar here at the back of the building. This back wall is gonna be all glass so you can see out into the production area, you can see our still, you can see all the barrels, you can see the caboose at the back of the, the barrel room here. This is gonna be the kitchen area over here. So the idea is that you will be placing your order at the bar here or at two different order stations here in the restaurant space and then your food will then be run to your table. Also as you walk in you're going to notice over here there's a little fireplace area and this side of the restaurant is going to be kind of our more family room feel. Um, some couches, kickback area, we want to have uh, an Irish theme night where perhaps we have some Irish musicians come in and, and sit around and jam it around the fireplace on a nice cold night dark ale and some corned beef. Ooh, baby, that's yum. Also, we've made it so that this whole area of the restaurant can be shut off with the velvet rope to create a space for private events. That's the general idea of the restaurant space. Big open restaurant space here. All of the windows are gonna be um, operative and they're gonna open up out so that we can bring some of that indoor outdoor feel to the front of the restaurant and over here this is going to be our store that's where you'll pick up your bottles uh, any merchandise we're also going to make chocolates and soap hot sauce koregusu all sorts of great stuff um, and you'll be able to get all of those other products here in our little store and then really the rest of the building is devoted to production and storage as i kind of mention all the time we're gonna be trying to fill at least one barrel a week because aged spirits is where it's at and our whiskeys are gonna take at least two years before we're gonna start bottling. So the sooner we can start filling barrels, the better. And eventually the barrels are gonna to start to take up a lot of space. So we've devoted a lot of space here to barrel storage and aging. As you can see here along the entire perimeter here, drawn in rack area, um, those racks will eventually start to fill up the entire warehouse um, but keep in mind we also have a 1948 caboose that's gonna be sitting right here at the back of our barrel room back behind this glass window will be our total production area this is where our big beautiful Vendome copper still is gonna go right in the center it's gonna be the centerpiece of the entire establishment also all brewing is gonna happen out here um, as I mentioned in the previous episode our brew house is coming from Premier Steel and then, you know, the kitchen flows into dry storage, walk-in, walk-in freezer, our boiler room. We've added another um, a keg storage area over here that's going to feed our bar. Underground glycol system. The works. Trying to build the best possible place we can for you, the people. So anyway, I'm really, really excited. We've got a ton of work ahead of us, but it feels really, really, really good to be back in the trenches fighting the good fight. Okay. Magic is happening here. The next most important ingredient will be you coming back next week to see how we make it all happen. We'll see you right here at Wednesday.